Hello and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Sky Factory with Karavik. Broadcasting from the Heartland in Nebraska. Now let's get started. <laughs> Today's episode, we're going to finish up the sag mill so that we can grind the rice down into sugar. We're going to use the sugar plus slime balls to make our vector plates and finish our mob farm, sending them down the shaft. After that, we uh, might get to make a tinkerer's sword since uh, we don't really have a good one. And we have diamond, but we don't get experience and it doesn't increase in damage or anything. And if we have enough time, we will get into an, making another auto hammer. So let me show you what we've done since last episode. So I died a few times making this, going all the way down to the void. So that we'd have a second level where we could do power generation. So I've got all my crucible set up and I even made some transfer nodes for fluids. And as you can see, all of them are all the way full. And we made this modular tank that holds 64 buckets of lava or 64 buckets of a lot of everything, actually. If you're not familiar with modular tanks, they are pretty cool. You start off making a wood one, which can't hold any hot liquids like lava. Then you can add a stone frame to it, which will upgrade it to 16 buckets. And then you can add iron or gold frame, which will take it up to 64. I don't know. I don't really remember how, how far it goes up. Anyways, so we have the extra utilities pipes coming up to the lava generator here. And the lava generator, obviously, is, is powering our... Wow, that's a lot of gravel. <laughs> our one auto hammer can't keep up with it. But as you can see, it's working quite well. Man, look at all that stuff. That's good, right? Yeah. So let's uh, go ahead and go over here. We moved our stuff inside here. I made some uh, gold chests. Made one gold chest just for my uh, cobblestone. So let's go ahead and finish that sag mill and get that started. All right. So we need to make the piston, which I should have everything for the piston. And, oh, we need one more iron. All right, now we got the sag mill. With the sag mill, we can go ahead and plug her in somewhere. Put it right there for now. <laughs> we'll have to figure out, I'll have to make some... Uh, more energy conduit later and probably route it underneath and put them over there or something. But, go ahead and pop that in there. Actually, you know what? There is this wonderful little thing with a sag mill with flint. It has a chance of increasing production. So slap those in there and uh, Let's see if we get extra, because it's supposed to be two. Maybe we'll get an extra one. Extra can't hurt. In the meantime, we have some sugar cane, since we're growing that now. All right, so vector plates are pretty cool. Cool. Uh, I think I mentioned in an earlier episode, they are the upgrade to the old standard conveyor belts. Now, immersive engineering has their own, and you could use those if you want, but I think they are much harder to make and not worth the effort. Because vector plates, you need sugar and slime balls, and as you notice, we've been having an issue with slimes in our base, so we have lots of slime balls to work with. They also take a piece of stone on each side and then the sugar, and it makes eight at a time, so I don't know what that was. So it's fairly easy to make. Um, don't actually know how many we're in need, per se, but let's go ahead and save that extra rice so that we have uh, 
so that we can make some paper. Whoops, got those in reverse order. Um, let's see if 80... Yeah, well, might as well use up what we got here. That should be more than enough. All right. And now we will go up. And I'm sure there's going to be some failures on this mob farm. There's already been one catastrophe. Um, we saw in the last episode where this whole area just blew up. I am not positive why that happened. I wasn't down there attacking anything, but the creeper exploded anyways. So, yeah. Um, we'll probably have more catastrophes trying to get this thing working. Oh, and I forgot to bring a door. So, yeah, that's what I thought. So, place them like this, and then they will point that way. The one thing I'm concerned about is that I made this too high. Um, I think I mentioned that I might have to use... I might have to go ahead and... Oh, how am I going to get those? Oh, I know. I may have to go ahead and um, use something like ivy might work. I don't know though. No, I think, yeah, those are pretty slow. But that's okay. We don't mind. They get the mobs in the right direction. And that is the important thing. So, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24. Oh yeah, we've got plenty then. Before I take out the lights though, I will have to come up with an iron door and probably a button system so that we can safely get in and out of here if we absolutely need to. Well, relatively safe. I know some of you are going, well that doesn't sound safe. Maybe. That's how I normally do it anyways. Now, there is a mob grinder, an actual mod called Mob Grinder in uh, Sky Factory, and it is quite nice. So eventually, uh, we will be making that, but it takes a whole heck of a lot of diamonds. And you saw I had 22, but I think to make the mob grinder, you need to make pyramids of diamonds. Uh, or spikes of diamonds, I think is what they are. And I think that takes quite a bit. But we will eventually have those in the next, I don't know how many episodes, when I get around to it, I suppose. Because it also needs power, and I would have to run power all the way over here. Oh, huh, that's weird. Oh, never mind, I know what that is. <laughs> Oi. Long day at work, right? Yeah. Well, let's just go with that. Alright, so let's go get the door and button system going. I wish I had remembered that so I wouldn't have to go all the way down there and all the way back up. Oh, look, a slime. Those really do annoy me. My buddy's suggestion was, oh, why don't you just use half blocks? Well, it just doesn't look quite as nice. And the design work you have to do to get it to set this up with just half blocks, it's just annoying. So I will figure something out. Oh, but there's one downstairs. We'll figure something out, because I hate slimes. You know what I might do is I might get into Batania and put the slime lilius or something. slime lily Anyways, it eats slimes and produces energy, or produces mana. So, not that I particularly care about the mana, 
but just something to automatically kill the slimes and I won't have to worry about it. That's what I'm going for. To get three loot bags. Let's see what we got real quick. Loot bag number one. The void crystal axe. Okay, sure. Alright, bag number two. A bucket of water? No way! The diamond's okay. I was just so overcome. Silicone. I'm sure once we get into... Um, What's it called? Extra storage or something? We'll need the silicon quite a bit. That and that and that and that. No, we need those. Always need those. Oh, let's put those in the other one. Sugar, rice, bucket of water. And we'll go put the diamond over here. All right, uh, yes, iron door. And buttons. Which I think we need stone. They blend in a little bit, but, yeah, whatever. Three iron doors now? Okay, that's cool. Doesn't feel like a total waste that way. All right. Let's go see how bad this is going to get. You know what I do need to do is I need to make... Oh, what are they called? Um, a chunk loader. And Extra Utilities now has its own weird power system. But they have a chunk loader in it that's so low lag, it's really cool. So... I will probably make one of those in the next episode or so. I don't know why. Oh. Shoot skis. Guess what I forgot. Boy. I apologize, folks. Another stupid slime. Ah. You know, I was talking about making a Tinkerer's Sword. I may end up making a Tinkerer's Crossbow. Because I absolutely love them. And they can be so, so devastating. Best part is you can have regenerating bolts. Regenerating bolts, yes. You heard me correctly. So, you make bolts... I don't know, choose one, iron, and then you upgrade it so that you can have as many um, extras on there as you can, and then you just slap regeneration on it with uh, moss balls, and it'll just sit there and regenerate, and you'll almost never run out of bolts. As long as you have one, it'll always regenerate. They're fantastic. And depending on what you build your... Uh, crossbow out of they can be very deadly too. All right, there. that, that. All right, let's close this off. Now, once I get into farming the Nether, I will probably get drops of evil, and this mob farm will have at that point become half dirt so that we can have evil dirt and then <laughs> and then some real stupid stuff ought to happen let's go clear the other side first Too many spawns while we're doing this. We're 
none at all would be fantastic. We don't need a creeper coming up and on. Surprise! Boom! And we have to start all over. Where's the buttons? There's the buttons. Button. Door. Button. Door. All right. Down and see if it works. I will need to make get some half slabs so that we can extract stuff out of there. Of course, we may just replace the floor with um, what are they called? Oh, hello. Ah, that's what I was afraid of. You don't get XP that way. Hmm. Let's see what it takes to get vines. All right, vines. Oh, lovely. Nature seeds. Ugly. So we're going to have to make some adjustments. And I don't know what those are going to be quite yet. But um, let's do some stuff here so that we can collect. So nine hoppers would be perfect. So I know we've got lots and lots of iron. We just need eight more chests. So we need seven more iron. So out we go to the smeltery. Yeah, lots of iron in there. Eh, not lots, but we got some. And some is better than none, right? Right. There we go. Eight more hoppers. Um, now we should be able to. Ah, uh, you know what? We don't have a wrench, and we're going to need a wrench to manipulate them. Wow, lots of wrenches. Well, that looks like the easiest one. Ooh, a laser wrench. It's got lasers. Hmm. Just because I've never made one before, let's do that. Cool. Eh, whatever, right? <laughs> Here's the risky part. All right. Yep, that's a spot right there. Well, we know that.
Nope, that's not it. A lot of guesswork. should be feeding into these two. Ah, this wrench doesn't work. <laughs> no. Uh, Yeti wrench usually works. That was unfortunate. It's like, no, this new wrench we've never made and it doesn't do what we want to do. Bummer. Alright, what do we need for the Yeti wrench? Oh, electrical steel. No. How about the wrench wrench? Well, let's try the wrench wrench. Because when in doubt, just wrench it. My papa, my, my papa, he, he told me never force anything. Well, guess what? We're going to. Of course, we hope this wrench works. And you know what? I'm going to take a big chest with me. Because we need something for it to go into. Well, hopefully. I mean, this wrench might not work either. That would suck. Let the loot bags flow. Oh, it doesn't work either. Oh, wait. Yeah, it does. Nice. Sweet. They all should be feeding in there now. Uh, except for that one. Why? Oh. Now that one just must have been full. Oh. That one's not full yet. Now is it? Yes. Oh, look at all that bones. Bones for days, folks. Bone meal for days. How did those, those don't stack? Uh oh. That's annoying. But look at all this infernium now. <coughs> we can start making stuff with infernium. <laughs> what are prosperity shards? You get them out of sand. Huh. I hear a witch. Okay. So now that we've got that going, let's go make our crossbow. Which I need to look what it's going to take me. Crossbow. One bow limb. A tough binding. A bow string. And a tough tool rod. That's three and three. And string. I wonder what we can make the string out of. Yes, we should make the string. That'd be good. Tough binding, obviously. Um, gonna need that. Gonna need the arrowheads. 
Not sure what that is. What is that? Arrow shaft. Yeah, I'm gonna... Mm, don't think we need that, actually. Because bolt cores are made differently. So we got the bow. Did we make a bow limb? We did not make a bow limb. So let's see what strings can be made out of. Oh, that's right. I did this so I can now look at it this way. Oh, it doesn't tell me. Well, boo-hoo! Used to tell you what went into making them and stuff. So, but we have materials in you. And I think this new book tells you bow materials, bow strings. So string, slime vines, slime vine vines, and hemp fiber. Okay. Oh, nice. Uh, bow limbs. Let's see here. I'm assuming faster draw speed is good. Bonus damage is good, so the constant looks pretty nice. Oh, wow, look at all these strings. Oh, no, no, it just tells you what they are. Oh. Hemp fiber. Yeah, I haven't had any, grown any hemp. That's weird. End rod. Oh, that's cool. Ice? <laughs> I gotta see this. Modifier, 0.95. Bonus ammo, zero. Freezing. Successful hit slows your target more and more. Cool. Ooh, that's not good. Renewable resources are so good. They range out. Ooh! Nice! <laughs> that's pretty sweet. It's got a pretty good modifier, too. Huh. End rod, end speed, projectile. Speed. Whoa! Oh, dude. Quantum speed. Wow. Dude, we gotta get those. But those are... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we gotta get to the end first. That's... <laughs> I'm thoroughly impressed, but... Let's look at the bow, slim, bow limbs here. Range modifier. So I'm guessing we need a... How fast you can draw the bow? Oh, so low draw speed, high range modifier. So we don't want something super slow, oh, like lead. Wow, 2.5 seconds draw speed. Wow, Electrum's really good. And it's shocking. Range modifier. Ooh, that's super fast, though. Lead is poisonous. That's interesting. Copper has nice bonus damage. But... Eh, an okay range modifier. So what is the best one? Whoa, draw speed. Slime is a really fast draw speed. And Lillian's not too bad. Cobalt's pretty decent. Look at that. Bonuses on all three sides. Night Slime. Well, that's slow. Pig Iron's slow. Sponge is fast. But half as far. Squeaky. Oh, that's weird. Okay. I don't know why you'd want uh, auto smelt on your bow. But whatever. It's a pretty quick uh, draw speed. Bone is uh, pretty fast, okay projectile, and your tool's damage is increased. wonder if that's damage it takes or damage it does. I don't know. 
A tool is unhindered by water and loves rainy evenings. Oh, interesting. Anti-teleport. Prevents Enderman from teleporting around first. Oh. Well, that might be something interesting for a weapon. If, you know, we're hunting Enderman. Wood. That's exactly what you would expect. Oh, wait. Oh. Would would bow limbs regenerate? Oh, regular draw speed, regular range multiplier. Interesting. That is, I hate to say it, would might be the choice. But I'll have to try out a couple different ones to find out. But it looks like our time is up. Thanks for uh, sticking around. We didn't get nearly as far as we wanted. We did finish the sag mill and the vector plates, and we finished our uh, mod gener uh, mob farm. So next episode, we'll get into making, trying to make a tinkerer sword and try to get a crossbow made, and then hopefully we'll get another auto hammer made. Until next time, have a good evening.